Hello students, it's time for a fun topic in algebra, um, monomials. And we are going to learn how to multiply them and uh, manipulate them. And so this is a monomial. It's one term in a polynomial, right? So mono is one, poly is many. And, you know, we don't need to get into the language too much. You'll just get it from, from doing it. So over here, we have an e to the fifth and an e to the fourth. So we're going to combine those. We have a nine and a 10, and we're going to combine those. So the nine times 10 is going to be 90. And the e to the fifth times e to the fourth, we add the exponents, right? So we have e to the five plus four. So we're going to end up with 90 e to the ninth. Okay, same idea. We have the 10 and the 10. We combine those, we get 100. And then we have y to the 7 plus 8. And that's going to give us 100y to the 15th. How about here? That looks like a 91, but it's actually a 9i. So this is 4 times 9. And then we have an i to the 7th. There's a secret 1 here, right? Because i is the same as i to the 1. So we have i to the 7 plus 1, which will give us 36i to the 8th. Okay, how about this? Well, that's 15. This, seven plus two adds up to nine. So we have 15 H to the nine. Cool. So you're getting the hang of it. Um, you're basically combining these like terms or multiplying these like terms. So we have 35, constant, constant, p to the ninth, p to the eighth, so p to the nine plus eight, which will give you 35 p to the 17th. Okay, over here, we have eight and four, which is 32, and we have three and four, so we have h to the three plus four, which gives us 32 h to the seven. Okay, 56, eight times seven is 56. This is z to the three plus two. So it should be 56 z to the fifth. And I think the point of this is to help you guys understand when you multiply, when you add, algebra is all about reps. Unfortunately, there's no way around it. You just have to do a lot of practice. I'm putting in the secret, y, uh, secret ones here, right? And there's another secret one here. If you want, you don't really need that one, right? But that just makes it look like the other problems, right? So you have one times nine is nine. Then you have y to the one plus one. So you have nine y squared. Okay. Again, if you want, you can put a secret one in front of that m. In which case you have two times one, which is two, m to the eight plus five. There's no need to put that one there though. I'm just making it match up with the other problems. So this is two m to the 13th. All right, and how about nine and four here? So that's 36 
we'll have 4 and 5. This will give us s to the 4 plus 5, which will give us 36 s to the 9th. Cool. Just do a bunch of these. They're going to have the same pattern. And the idea is once you, we're doing the next level a little bit, once you figure out the pattern, you'll then be able to combine it with, um, you know, more terms. You'll be able to multiply polynomials. So one step at a time. So we have i to the ninth, i to the fourth, and i to the first, right? There's a secret one there. So there are three. That's what's different here. And we have like another secret one in front of this. So we have one times two times two is four. And then we have i to the nine plus four plus one. So we have four i to the 14. Okay, so that's an example of if you had three. And I think you guys get the idea, guys and gals, people. So what did I write? 4i to the 14th. Okay, 4, sorry, 4i four to the 14th. Hmm. It's weird. What went wrong? I'll just do this one to make sure I'm reading it right. 35e to the 15th. Okay. Huh. Let's go back to this one. Can I? Oh, well. Let's just end on a good note. Three times nine times seven. So that's going to give us sixty three times three, which is one eighty nine. And then we'll have X to the three plus two plus 10, which is X to the 15th. Okay, so that's gonna give us 189 X to the 15th. Okay guys, keep practicing and I'll see you next time.